Hey Cringe here at GX Oz, where I bumped into Guy Blomberg, who some of you might know as Yug, the content manager at PAX Australia, among other things. In the past, he's done a lot of uh, digital production, and one of his previous gigs, he worked on gamification oriented products. And I asked him about what it would take for that industry to move towards designing gamification products with those with mental illness in mind and, and trying to combat those effects. I feel like about as tall as me. Everyone that I've spoken to is like, they're slightly shorter in person, and then I re look at the footage and I'm like, I'm not that tall. <laughs> All right, that's it's, good, that's good. We're eye level here, that's it, good. It makes his job a lot easier. The hair is higher, than, I know it's, it's true, it's the, you, like a solid like few centimeters worth of lift. It's there. homeless chic, you know, so it's, it's, it's a particular style. It's working for you. Thank you. My name is Guy Blomberg, also known as Yug. I am the content manager for PAX Australia and also Oz Comic Con. You've worked in the digital production field for a long time. You'd worked there uh, before you had more of your organizational roles now. How have those experiences affected how you approach your work now? Oh, they were critical. Everything that I've learned to be able to run events and content and put all that stuff together, I learned from you know the very early days. Even like you know graphic design, I use that these days to actually put together the graphics to promote panels and things like that on social media. Running the Mana Bar was like pretty much running tiny little events every single night of the week. I used a lot of those experiences with. Uh, networking and talking to publishers and getting people involved for you know music nights or, or trivia nights to actually you know create the the panels and the content of PAX. So really everything has led up into this point, including parties and drinking and, and everything that goes in between. What are some of the, the similarities in managing PAXOS and the Mana Bar that might take some people by surprise? The similarities. I don't know if it's that surprising, but uh, the community. Manabar to me was always, you know, about bringing together the gaming community. Gamers in, in general, I mean, had been stereotyped by mass media as antisocial, stereotypical, pasty, white, fat nerds in their parents' basement. And the Manabar to me was always about trying to actually educate a broader audience that that's not the case. Everyone that plays games, this is a bar that is, you know, only allows people over the age of 18 that are fairly social and like to go out and drink. You know, in the same way, I mean, PAX educates a lot of people as well in terms of. Uh, you know, the kind of people that play video games, you know. It's not just the segregated to this small little gated community. Uh, it's, it's a massive thing that everyone plays games. This one might be a bit, a bit to take in. Try it. All right. Here at GXOS, there are a lot of mental health related boots and uh, efforts set up to support the people here. Your previous position at Brainworks or Gamification to help professionals achieve their professional goals. Mm -hmm. What would it take for companies and developers to use gamification to fight the effects of mental illness? I think it really depends if that's their goal. If that's the specific goal on the software and the things they're actually using, then, then that's great. And there's a lot of companies out there that are using gaming uh, devices, which is the whole gamification thing, to better service software and things that are actually fighting and preventing mental health or, or helping to, to helping people with it and whatnot. I don't know if it's something that, you know, is every game should actually be thinking about oh, how do we actually, you know, help people with mental health issues or whatnot, there's certain considerations that can be taken into account uh, that I think aren't in a lot of cases. There should be, you know, less horror games where the twist is that the guy was crazy all along. But yeah, I think there's there's just more of more of more stuff that's specific to helping people with mental health using gamification principles rather than just incorporating that into every single game. You've been involved, heavily involved with the running of PACs for the last three years. Do you see GX Oz being successful enough to spawn a follow-up, and if not, why? Uh, yeah, I expect GX Oz to actually continue happening on an annual basis. I think if there's a community, uh, you know, and a culture and an interest for something, if there's a passion that's there and exists, and you can get those people together in a collective space, then it's gonna, it's gonna grow. Uh, you know, that happens with PAX. That is gonna happen with GX. It's all of this stuff, everything, everything we do actually is all about bringing communities together and you know sharing those those passions with complete strangers and making friends out of it. So yeah, I expect this this show to, to go on. All right, thank you so much for your time. No worries, cheers.